Hey, I just wanted to share, I got a package today that I'm so excited about. It came from a friend of mine I had in St. Louis when we were little. Um, in grade school, we were friends. I have not seen this woman for 40 years. Anyway, I knew a package was coming. I had no idea what was in it. The mystery package arrived today and from Alaska. That's where she lives, and I'm so freaking excited. Um, I'm going to share with you what was in it. So, when I opened it, have a look-see. It was so pretty in a little box. I'm like, what is it? It was wrapped in this. I already opened it once. So, I pull out this beautiful, if I can get it out, this beautiful box within which, have a zoom in, Jack, there was a card, and I'm going to read it to you. I read it before I looked to see what was in there, even though I really wanted to know. So real quick, I'm going to read it. Ooh, and there were pictures of us 40 plus years ago. Anyway, uh, whoops, we just got cut off because my iPod was so jam packed with pictures and videos from the event we just attended uh, in Denver in Power Network, don't be a wussy, that I had to uh, free up some space to finish this video. Anyway, so where was I? Pictures and then this lovely card, which I'm going to read to you. Well, I don't know, I'm gonna to waste too much of your time. Essentially, it says, I have saved all of your letters. I read them all again and put them in chronological order for you. They are endearing and hard to part with, but I'm very happy to send them back to their original scribe. And she goes on to talk about the pictures and what was happening and whatnot. So the reason I wrote her letters is because... Um, we both moved away from St. Louis. She ended up going to Springfield, Illinois. I moved with my sister and my mom to central Illinois, but not, you know, like two hours away from Springfield, um, right after grade school. And so we kept in touch for those few years through uh, middle school, and I have not seen her since. And of course, you know, we lost touch, but thanks to the beauty of Facebook, which is so beautiful for people our age because, you know, we have a whole history of people we've known. Like I said, it's been 40 years. And I found her on Facebook, and thus I received this package. So, ooh, drum roll, what was inside? Well, I already told you the letter, but look how beautiful this is. I mean, this here is three years. I'm going to cry. Anyway, three years of memories. Starting from, let's see, 1972, when I was still living in St. Louis, she moved first. To 1975 is the last letter when I was, in fact, back in St. Louis living with my dad because uh, living with my mom ended up not turning out so well because I was such a wild child, she couldn't handle me. So, anyway... This will reflect everything that led up to that moment when I couldn't live with my mom anymore. It's going to be heavy duty. And I think I'm going to take this into the woods and go down memory lane. Beautiful. Thank you, Molly. Cut.